right, everyone. Last time I was in Colorado. Since then, I deadheaded all the way up to Council Bluffs, Iowa over the weekend. I got a hazmat load out of St. Joseph's, Missouri, going up to Montana. Went down Monday afternoon, picked it up, took it all the way back up. For some reason, I ended up out in the forest. I think it was Custer's National Forest, which happens to be a wildfire up there, in case you all are wondering. So what should have been a 45 minute shortcut turned into a 3 hour and 45 minute slow roll. Got up there, got my delivery off, they were super cool and everything. Had to deadhead 900 miles home, there was nothing coming out of Montana, so y'all just need to stay out of Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, all together let the locals have that freight on the way home air compressor pump went out man 95 105 degrees outside not including what it was in the truck for two straight days trying to get home got home looked at it AC pump actually caught on fire but luckily it went out. That's been in the shop for the last three days now. Special order air compressor. They've got to ship it from three states away. So basically, I've been down since Friday. This is Monday afternoon-ish. Monday evening, depends how you look at it. So I'm basically gonna miss an entire week's worth of work. But I am not going out again without air conditioning. Man, that was hot. I don't have no APU on my truck yet. So I basically had the windows down and a little Flying J Tornado fan in the sleeper with me. Yep. When you're blowing 95 degree air on you, doesn't matter what you're doing. It's hot. So while the truck's in the shop, might as well get the new belts put on it, get a new tensioner, get a new tensioner belt. I might as well replace my airbags. Most of this stuff don't need to be done, but I got my Landstar inspection coming up next month. So the more new stuff I got on it, the harder it's gonna be for that toothless little crackhead up there at Boselman's. In Sioux Falls, South Dakota. This dude actually had balls big enough to tell me when he inspected my truck to go to Landstar. He's like, the next time this truck comes in here, if there's anything wrong with it, we're not telling you. We call directly to Landstar and you'll pay to have everything we say fixed or else your truck just won't come out of the shop. And if you try to move it, you're fired automatically. Now, honestly, I get it, you know, if there's something wrong with the truck. But when the mechanic, who's got three teeth in his entire head, tells you as soon as your truck comes back, you're going to pay him what he feels you need to have done? Nah. There's two places here in Sioux Falls. So I'm taking it to the second one. And if I don't like what this guy has to say this time I'll just file a report with Landstar I'll get both of their mechanical certifications taken away and just imagine how much money their businesses are going to lose and then I'll just start going 70 miles away to Iowa I have no problem with that but anyways the uh, tension 17 hours worth down in Colorado got my pay stub today Yep, Landstar rolled over, put their ass in the air, spread their butt cheeks and said, Nope, you can fuck us and our driver. It doesn't matter. It cost me four days worth of work because I couldn't book a load because I wasn't unloaded till Friday night. 
doesn't matter to them that it cost me 17 and a half hours of my time. No, all that matters to Landstar, those greedy little office dwelling, Woo, I better not say that word. They get their money. So once again, as soon as I build up my paper a little bit, get my own authority, it may be next summer, but this name's coming off my truck. Because Landstar is a fucking disgrace. <laughs>